Okay. So uh, uh, let's get started. Uh, welcome uh, back from Kofi. So in the next uh, 20, 30 minutes also, I'm going to talk about the journey we have uh, in Nordia to build a virtual assistant uh, from scratch. Uh, I'm from Nordia Data Science Lab. All right, so first of all, a uh, couple of words about Nordia Data Science Lab. So essentially, it's an army of machine learning engineers and data scientists. So in total, we have about 10 to 12 people uh, located across Nordic capitals. Uh, we have a, it's a mixture of professors, postdoc, PhD, and masters in computer science, uh, complex systems, machine learning, and statistics. So the mission of Nordia Data Science Lab is to be a center of excellence in machine learning, uh, stayed on top of the researches, uh, and collaborate with other, other business units uh, developing uh, machine learning and, and AI applications. So we focus on uh, open source stacks. Uh, we like uh, Apache uh, ecosystems and the program language we have here in Nordia uh, Data Science Lab, it's mostly about Scala, uh, Python, and Java. So on the, on the research side, so we have been in active collaboration with the Danish Technical University and also uh, Helsinki Institute for Information Technology uh, just to make sure that we are we're always on top of the uh, on top of the research. Okay, so maybe this is most uh, most interesting and most important slide I would like to show here. So uh, we have been uh, hiring uh, heavily uh, for good uh, machine learning engineers and data scientists into the lab. Uh, so if you are interested in joining us, or if you happen to know anyone that, that is interested in joining us, please don't hesitate to uh, to reach out. All right, so uh, Nova is the name of Nordia Virtual Assistant. Uh, so, I mean, where we are with Nova now? So right now, Nova is available in Nordia Mobile, uh, digital mobile with version 3.0. So, so basically, if you are like a Finnish customer and you open your Nordia digital mobile application and there's like a contact us page uh, where you, you will notice there's like a chat button uh, which can just bring you into a chat with Noria agent. So a typical waiting time there, if you look at the, uh, the screenshot on the left, uh, it's like a typical waiting time is 15 to 20 minutes. So instead of uh, having customer waiting in the queue, uh, at the moment, uh, the customer uh, is served by our like virtual assistant, Nova. So basically, Nova is our a uh, gatekeeper for all the incoming messages uh, to Nordia digital mobile application and also to the private net bank channels. Uh, as you can see on the right, so so basically a customer can uh, carry on like a conversation with our virtual assistant Nova. Uh, so communicate back and forth. Uh, Nova is able to kind of picking up questions from customer, uh, providing answer back to the customer. And in case of complicated uh, uh, answers or questions, Nora, no, our kind of virtual system, Nova is able to provide uh, options or choices that customer can click uh, from their mobile phone, or, or customer can type in uh, in like natural language in the text field uh, to to help like uh, to communicate and then uh, finalize the, the journey or the dialogue. Uh, with the customer or with, the, with our virtual assistant. So uh, in addition to uh, this kind of uh, back and forth communication, uh, we also have the escalation to our, we always have the escalation uh, functionality ready there uh, to our agent. So our agent is always ready to serve the customer in case there's some problem with, uh, with our uh, virtual assistant. And the escalation can either be uh, to the chat or to the, to the video, uh, Skype video calls. Uh, so this is what we have right now in production, uh, the same UI, uh, same functionality. So in the next slide, uh, I'm going to show you uh, a short demo of the, of, of the whole functionality of our uh, virtual assistant Nova, uh, but this is in test. So the, the interface looks slightly different. Uh, this is more, more as in the, in the test environment or in the proof of concept phase.
so so now you see the customer log into their uh, mobile bank application, and then after login, uh, there's like a chat button, and then customer right now is in the in the chat window. So in, instead of waiting in the queue, uh, Nova pop-ups, and then customer can ask uh, questions, and Nova will 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 provide answers back. So right now, customer is asking about having a student loan. And now customer is asking to, uh, to speak to an agent directly instead of the chatbot. So we have a, a seamless connection or escalation to the agent. Right now, it's a human, our colleague Shazep. Uh, it's like talking to the customer instead of the chatbot. And the agent proposed that uh, would you like to have a Skype meeting? So then there's another escalation to the to the chat window to a Skype video calls, uh, where the customer will be able to have a, like a video conference with our agent. Right. So in the video video conference call, so basically our agent is able to uh, share uh, document. Uh, sometime in the future, uh, we, we can also uh, try to uh, help setting up the contract uh, with the customer. So, but let's stop here. So, okay. Uh, this is where we are right now with Nova, and this is the, our storyline or our, the timeline of the project. So, so everything starts from uh, summer last year. In particular, uh, we kick off the project uh, sometime during June last year, uh, we, we collect good people and we, we just say, let's go and do a, do a chatbot. So, and then we, we spend something like three months uh, to do a proof of concept work. Uh, so sometime in, in August 2017, uh, we present the, the proof of concept work, uh, not only to the IT and also to the business. And then after some back and forth conversation, we, we think it's absolutely a very good idea and we should continue. Uh, then we put together a execution team uh, sometime in uh, October last year. So at the beginning, we have uh, three machine learning engineers, one QA specialist, uh, and we would, then we just start ex executing on this particular project. Uh, then during autumn last year, mostly we, we have been busy with uh, building up the functionality and also trying to integrate uh, the, the whole thing or the whole 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 concept into the Nordia existing framework and backend systems, uh, and then we have like a minimum viable product at the beginning of this year. So so sometime in I think in February, so we deliver the first version of minimum viable product to production. Uh, so but before serving a real customer, we, we would rather uh, want to have a, a pilot. So we, we are running a pilot for the Finnish employees. Uh, and the pilot has been running there for about two to three months, uh, where we collect feedbacks, do bug fixing, and uh, improve the current functionalities. Uh, starting from April this year, uh, we start to uh, roll out to the to the real customer uh, in Finland, uh, starting from 10% of the real customers, and then we uh, we kind of gradually uh, wrap up to 30% of Finnish customer uh, by the end of June. Uh, and since last month, uh, we are like a, we are in fully uh, full production, serving 100% of Finnish customer in Finland. So right now, uh, we are in this kind of red arrow. Uh, so basically, we are busy with uh, with uh, uh, supporting uh, uh, Swedish in Sweden. So uh, in this month, so soon we'll we'll just roll out our service to Swedish customer. Uh, and the next month, we are going to roll out to uh, to, to to Denmark and Swi uh, support Danish. Uh, and then, uh, so there's basically a very kind of clear roadmap that we'll be executing upon. Right, so start, starting again from beginning. So what, what is the problem we want to solve? Uh, so, so basically we want to uh, improve the operation efficiency in Nordia customer contact center platform. Uh, so this is the typical situation uh, on a single day. So on a single day for the customer contact center platform in, in Finland, we have about 6,000 incoming secure chat. 
about 8,000 incoming secured uh, calls, uh, but in total we have roughly about 500 agents uh, try to kind of solve those uh, chat or calls, uh, which is not sufficient, uh, which lead to about 20 minute uh, queuing time and about less than 50% of resolution rate. So we want to improve, uh, I mean, want to improve the customer uh, experience uh, when they try to connect to Nordia. Uh, what we want to do, uh, we want to implement or develop a Nordia virtual assistant, uh, Nova, so to, to change the, the, the communication uh, in the old fashion. So before we have a Nordia agent serving the customer, so instead of having uh, the agents talking to the customer, uh, we'd like to put a virtual assistant over there uh, to, to answer the incoming question from the customer. Uh, but by looking at data, we realize that most of the question happens in the secured channel. So then it makes more sense to have a to have a chatbot or virtual assistant working in the secured domain uh, after customer log in to, to Nordia, uh, Nordia app or uh, NetBank and so on. Uh, and also we think uh, having a virtual assistant uh, answering frequent ask like FAQ question doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, so we are aiming for a, a kind of virtual assistant that is able to execute actions on behalf of the customer. For example, uh, cancel a card, ordering a new one, uh, book a meeting, make money transfer, and so on and so forth. So, so we need to uh, integrate our uh, virtual assistant properly to the backend system. And also, according to design, we think uh, it just won't happen that uh, uh, a virtual assistant can solve all the problems from the customer. Uh, we are pretty much like a reasonable person, like we, we think uh, I think, at least I think we are going to, so in the optimal case, maybe up to 40 or to 50% uh, case we can solve by the, by the chatbot or by the virtual assistant. Uh, then basically which means that we, we always need to have the, have the human in the loop uh, in case the virtual assistant is not able to serve the customer, uh, the human can always step in to continue the dialogue. Okay, so if you look at the picture, basically we are talking about uh, authentication, being able to do the escalation, and being able to perform actions and and uh, sometimes do the robotic process automations. Right. So then, what are those key components that we we, we should have there uh, in order to build a proper virtual system? Of course, uh, we need to have the Nova uh, communicating with customer. But at the same time, we re realize that we need to build a collection of surrounding services that support the, the chatbot or the virtual assistant properly. So first of all, we need to collect data uh, from both communication between uh, virtual assistant and customer, and also uh, from the communication between our human agent uh, with the customer. We will collect data mostly about chat history into a into a common like database where. Uh, we can discover the intent, the most uh, popular intent uh, between customer and, and, and the company in Nordia. And also we can discover uh, the question variation for, for each intent. I will just put uh, the intent and question variation into the content management tool that we developed. Also our business user, uh, they will be working uh, in this content management tool by putting more intent question variation and also uh, putting answers into, into the content management, making the dialogue happen, for example. And from the content management tool, uh, we can get the data out and try to train a neural network, neural network model. Uh, and then once we have the neural network model, we can plug the model back into the virtual assistant and the, that, so that the virtual assistant is able to understand uh, the incoming question from the customer. So if, uh, okay, uh, and also we need to monitor the performance of, of our virtual assistant uh, constantly, that so that we build a uh, kind of a KPI dashboard that we can we can do the monitoring in a proper way. So if you look at the, the right hand side of the right hand side of the of the picture, so they are pretty much unstructured data. 
uh, but if you like look at the right hand side of the of the of the diagram, uh, the data are properly like structured into a uh, intent uh, question variation answer pairs. Uh, so basically, the the key is the content management system that keep kind of generating the structured data from the uh, from the unstructured data so that we can utilize in the in the in our machine learning work. All right, so uh, then we, we understand what are the components of the of the of the virtual assistant. Uh, then what we need to do, we just need to design the architect architecture uh, and we just need to implement everything. So so the first of all we need to have the the virtual assistant Nova uh, like integration uh, with the integration to the integration platform in this case, uh, customer contact center platform, and this is like a single touch point uh, of the of the application we build uh, towards the uh, the existing Nordia like system. Uh, and in particular, we, we provide uh, REST API services uh, to the to other systems so that uh, when they integrate to the to the virtual system, what they need to do, they just need to. Uh, uh, call like like a handful of APIs. So so in particular, only it's four API endpoint we have here, uh, and three of them is about session management, and only one uh, is about queries. So basically, you send in uh, questions in natural language, and you are expecting a, a answer back uh, in the REST API uh, JSON payload. And then we, we have to, we have this like a, a data collection pipeline, also content management, uh, where we get data from the uh, contact center platform uh, into the content management, and also uh, our business user is working in the content management tool, uh, keeping adding up the knowledge base of the virtual assistant. Uh, and then uh, we realized that uh, we just need to hand over the the machine learning uh, the part, basically means that the training. The model training and the model act activation to the business uh, because it's just so much easier. So basically, we develop this like training automation functionality, uh, where basically the business user will make their own decision uh, when it's the best time to to get another model in production. So basically, what they need to do, they just need to uh, click a button uh, for to active tr to activate training, and after a couple of hours, uh, there will be a new model uh, showing the dashboard. They can look at the accuracy of the model. Uh, like n not only the overall accuracy, but also the intent level accuracy, and they, they they can make a decision whether to deploy the new model or keep the old one. And also, they have the uh, they have the power to to uh, to roll back to the old model if there's something wrong uh, running in production. And also, uh, as I mentioned, also we have this kind of KPI dashboard uh, built into the system that we can keep monitoring uh, the performance of the of the chatbot. Yes, so this is the uh, technology stacks that we have been uh, using to build this application. Uh, I'm not going to uh, talk, talk into any details, uh, but I, I think you will, you, will, you, will, you will be having the slides, so if you're interested, you can look into it. Uh, okay, so what are the logics for Nova to answer questions? So I have been discussing a lot about the about the architecture, the component. So this is actually the logic that we use to answer questions. So uh, everything starting everything starts from a customer ask a question. So the question goes through the like natural language processing component, basically uh, goes through language detection, word correction, stemming, lemmatization, uh, and named entity rec rec recognition, uh, and after that. Uh, the question go to the embedding where we try to get a uh, a vector representation of the of the sentences or words and then uh, go to the sentiment uh, prediction module where we try to predict the sentiment of the customer uh, in case of the negative sentiment we'll just do the escalation directly to the human agent because we don't we don't want the virtual assistant to deal with angry customer uh, it's just very bad for customer experience and then in case of the positive sentiment uh, we'll just uh, the sentence will just go to the intent prediction and knowledge base that we can uh, we can get a answer back to the customer. Uh, it can just be like like straightforward answer or some kind of a, a, a dialogue flow. And then we, we have like like a quality gate to 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 measure the uh, the quality of the answer, and we'll send back to the to the customer uh, the answer if if we think the 
uh, if you think that we are certain about the question or the intent, uh, we are happy with, uh, of the answer, uh, about the answer. Otherwise, uh, we still activate the uh, the uh, escalation flow that the customer will just be escalated to the to the human agent. And uh, so, uh, so looking looking into the to, to the logic flow. So basically, what we want, want to achieve, we want to be uh, as much personal as possible, uh, to be relevant to the customer, to be uh, as much conversational as possible, uh, and also we, we want to be uh, accurate. So, okay, so this is pretty much standard uh, things. So we want, we want to achieve the modularity and scalability at the same time. Uh, so especially when, the, when we, have, we have so much like machine learning component that, that we have in the, in the design. So what we, what we do, we just put them into the uh, different modules and we put them into the containers so that we can, we can properly scale up and down the services according to the uh, traffic that we have for each modules. So then we need to discuss uh, so how we build the, uh, the machine learning model. Uh, so basically, the brain of Nova. Uh, of course, we use the new, uh, convolutional neural networks. Uh, and in particular, in this case, we have our own implementation of the convolutional neural network. It's not, not very complicated, just like one single uh, convolution layer, uh, activation layer, max pooling layer, so on, so on and so forth. Uh, but it, it works quite, quite well. And then we, because we are like property scientists, we always make a, a better model. Uh, so then, then, because like recurrent neural network and attention model is so popular, uh, then we tried out a uh, recurrent neural, neural network model and attention. Uh, so in particular, we have a, a nested RNN model uh, somewhere in the middle. And we have attention layer uh, like in the end of the architecture, in particular for the recurrent neural network model. Uh, the, 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 the base unit is, uh, we have two options, either gated uh, recurrent new, uh, unit or uh, LSTM unit. And of course, uh, we want to make it even smarter. So basically, uh, we, we just put together a uh, convolutional neural network and a recurrent neural network just to, just to capture the different aspects of the, of the things uh, from modeling's perspective. Uh, so it's kind of straightforward. So uh, everything uh, before the embedding layer uh, it's the same. So uh, then we pull together uh, the output from both networks, and we put a single more function on top of it. So then we need to uh, need to uh, measure the performance of the of the models. Uh, if you can look at the uh, the uh, the triangle. So basically, we, we measure the, the performance of three different models in, uh, in like different languages or in different uh, data. So, so we have like English model, we have Finnish model, and we have Swedish model. Uh, as in the background, you can see the green area. So basically, it's, it's like it's a hybrid model, uh, CN plus RN plus uh, attention. So uh, apparently, this is a, kind of the best performing model that we have so far. Uh, and the second best one is the CNN model, which is blue area. And uh, kind of, uh, to my surprise, uh, RNN plus attention doesn't like perform as good as the others. Uh, and actually, in production, uh, right now, we use CNN model. Uh, the reason is that we haven't yet uh, rigorously uh, tested the performance uh, in terms of the response time for the uh, hybrid model. Uh, but I think. Uh, so we'll spend some effort on it. Maybe we'll just uh, replace the current CN model with some better model in the future. Uh, of course, uh, accuracy, uh, I mean, the performance in terms of accuracy is one thing, uh, because we are like proper, we are trying to implement a proper kind of product uh, in Nordia production environment. So, we are, so, so in the end, we are talking about like how fast we can provide services. Uh, in the picture I, I show, uh, it's just like, uh, the testing we did uh, regarding the, uh, the the response time and transaction per second. Uh, so, so basically, as a result, we are able to serve. I mean, the end-to-end -end, uh, response time is about a couple of milliseconds, so it's pretty fast. Uh, especially when we have a, a pretty kind of uh, complicated uh, neural network model uh, sitting in the middle, and we are running everything on a single uh, single server. And we are able to serve uh, something like 50 to 100 uh, concurrent customer uh, 
at the same time. Right, so how it's not going to be improved? Uh, so right now we have something in, in production and then, then uh, we'll keep building it up. Well, we will be focusing on a couple of areas that, that we'd like to improve. So, so basically, uh, the most important one currently is try to make it more uh, personal. Uh, and of, of course, uh, we have been discussing about conversational, to, be, uh, to make it more conversational, uh, relevant and accurate at the same time. Uh, and also, well, we have been looking into the voice solutions uh, to add the, like voice interaction flavor into the into the virtual assistant. Right. So this is almost uh, my my last slide. So this is something. Uh, it's more like proof of concept work we did uh, 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 in, in the in the team or in the in, in the project. So where we add uh, the voice flavor into the virtual assistant and also adding biometric uh, uh, authentication uh, technology into the solution. Okay, so so, so that that is about the, the last demo I have. So uh, so we have been we have been improving the service the quality and and the availability of the of our virtual assistants. Uh, I always want to have the, this kind of acknowledgement slide uh, at the last one because uh, I realize that I'm the one uh, that is standing on the on the stage speaking, but but in the but but actually we have a we have a team building it up and we have a lot of people. Uh, supporting the project not only from the technical perspective but also from the business perspective and also from the management layer uh, to make it happen. So with that, I, I will just conclude my presentation. Uh -huh.